Hello everyone, this is Mr. McMillan, and I'm here with the continuation of the instructional video on uh, the equations of circles. And this time we're going to look at a few different types of problems than we looked at uh, yesterday. So yesterday we talked about the equation of a circle and how it had to uh, be in this form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared where h, k is the center and r is the radius. So in order to determine the equation of a circle, you need two pieces of information, your center and your radius. And if you don't have those, then you need to find those first. Okay, so if it gives you the diameter, you need to make sure that you find the diameter or find the radius from the diameter. So let's look at number nine. It says the ends of a diameter are negative two, four, and two, six. And it wants us to write the standard equation of a circle. So you'll notice here that all it gives us is two points that are the endpoints of a diameter. So if we draw a circle to represent that, Negative two, four would be like here or something like that. And two, six would be, you know, here, something like that. You, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so you have your endpoints of the diameter there. And remember that for your diameter, the midpoint of the diameter is always the center. So in order to find the center of this circle, we need to find the midpoint of these two points. Now, when we do that, if you remember when we talked about midpoint formulas, we label these with x1, y1, x2, y2. And our midpoint formula is given to us by x sub one plus x sub two over two y sub one plus y sub two over two. Okay. So in this case, M, our midpoint is our center. So the center, and we plug into our midpoint. X one plus X two would be negative two plus two over two comma then we do y1 plus y2, so that would be four plus six over two. Negative two plus two gives you zero over two. Four plus six gives you 10 over two. So your center ends up being when you divide these, zero divided by two gives you zero, 10 over two gives you five. So your center is zero, five. Now, that's not the only piece of information we need. We also need our radius. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can use the distance formula or you can uh, plug in a point and the center into this equation and figure out what R squared is. So if we use the distance uh, formula, we end up with R equals, then we take the square root. Now the radius always starts at the center and goes to an end point on the circle. So we can choose either one of these points to use with our center to find the radius. So I'm gonna use two six. So I do the X two minus X one, which is two minus zero squared plus, and then I do Y two minus Y one. So six minus five squared. And then I just simplify this. So two minus zero is two, two squared is four, six minus five is one, one squared is one. So this gives me the square root of five for the radius. Now we have our center, now we have our radius. So now we just need to plug those into the equation. So X minus H, our center is, uh, our X coordinate of the center is zero. So our H is zero and X minus H just gives us X squared in that case. Plus, and then we do Y minus K, 
Well, the K here is positive. Remember, when you put it in the equation, it'll have the opposite sign. So that means that in the parentheses, we should have Y minus five squared equals, and then we're going to do R squared. Well, if you square that, the square root and the square cancel and all it leaves behind is the five. So your equation there is x squared plus y minus five squared equals five. So let's look at number 10. Number 10 is the same type of problem. The ends of a diameter is negative four, negative one and negative two, five. So again, to find the center or to find the Yes, to find the center, we have to find the midpoint of the diameter. So we label x1, y1, x2, y2. And our center is the midpoint formula. So we do the x is added together. So negative four plus negative two over two, and then comma, and then our two y's added together divided by two. So you get negative four plus negative two is negative six over two. Negative one plus five is four over two. And if you can simplify those fractions, do so. Negative six over two gives you negative three and four over two gives you positive two. So now we need to determine the radius. Now you could do it just like here where you did the distance formula, but I'm gonna show you another way to do it, okay? So you know that your x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And all x and y are, are points on the circle, okay? So all they are is points on the circle. So what we have to do is we can take one of these points in the center and plug it into what we know and solve for r squared. So let me show you. So I'm gonna pick this uh, second point here, negative two, five. You'll get the same thing if you do negative four, negative one. But I'm gonna pick negative two, five. So it says X minus H. So your X here is negative two. <clears throat> and then you subtract your H, which is your center uh, coordinate. So negative two minus negative three becomes negative two plus three squared plus and then we do y minus k, so our y is five, and then minus k, which is two squared, and that's equal to our r squared. So negative two plus three is one. Five minus two is three. One squared is one. Three squared is nine. So our R squared value is 10. Now, since we already know R squared and we're looking to write the equation, all we have to do here is plug all those things in except for the X and the Y, because X and Y are always left in the equation. So we do X minus H. So our center was negative three. So we do X plus three squared plus Y minus K. So Y minus two squared is equal to r squared and we found r squared was 10. If you did your distance formula, you would find that r was the square root of 10. And so when you square that, you would still get 10. So either way that you do it, I wanted to show you both ways so you could decide which way you wanted to do it. Both ways are valid. Okay. All right, number 11. Number 11 says, what is the length of the diameter of a circle defined by the equation x plus seven squared plus y minus one squared is equal to 225? Now you have to pay attention to what the problem wants you to find. So in this case, the problem says, what is the length of the diameter? Now remember, we wrote this down, the diameter is twice the length of the radius. And we use the equation D equals two R. 
So in order to find the diameter, we need to know what the radius is. Well, we have an equation here. And remember your equation is in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So the only thing that involves the radius in this equation is this r squared on the right side of the equal mark. Well, r squared in this case would be 225, but I haven't found r yet because I only have r squared to be 225. So to do that, I need to get rid of the squared. We do the opposite, which is square rooting. We square root both sides and we get that r is equal to the square root of 225, which is 15. Again, we're not done yet. We only have the radius, but we want the diameter. The diameter is twice the length of the radius, so twice the length of 15. d equals 2r, so d equals 2 times 15, so d equals 30. So make sure you pay attention to the problems, okay? Pay attention to the problems. All right, number 12. It says to write the equation of circle A if the center is negative 6, negative 2, and the diameter is 14. So remember, to write the equation, we need the center and radius. So do we have a center in this problem? Yes, the center is negative six, negative two. So H comma K is negative six, negative two. That's our center. Do we have a radius? No, not yet. It says the diameter is 14. That is not our radius. However, we do know that the diameter is equal to two times the radius. So if our diameter is 14, what would be our radius? Well, since the diameter is twice the length of the radius, we know that the radius has to be half the length of the diameter. So we have to divide it by two and we get that R, our radius is seven. Now we have our center, now we have our radius, so we plug it into the for, uh, equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So x minus h, remember your center and your, um, your center and your equation will have opposite signs. So here you would have x minus negative six, which would be x plus six squared plus y and then here is a negative, so in our equation it has to be positive, squared equals r squared, which is seven squared. Simplifying that, you get your equation is x squared plus y plus two squared equals 49. And I will tell you that um, on other questions, it'll try and trip you up because they will also have the answer choice that's 14 squared here, okay? So they'll have the one that's 14 squared instead of 40, uh, instead of seven squared. So you have to make sure that you have your radius, not your diameter. All right, number 13, write the equation for a circle that has a center at negative one, four and a point on the circle at seven, negative two. So again, we need the center and radius when we write an equation. We have our center, but we don't have the radius. So how can we find it? Well, we know the equation has to, satisfy, or has to be in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we have h and k and we need to find r. So that would mean that we need to find x and y. Well, Remember we said that X and Y are any point on the circle. And does the problem give us a point on the circle? Yes, it does. So our center is HK and our point on the circle is XY. 
So now we need to plug that in to find R squared. So we have X minus H squared, that's our first thing. So we have seven minus negative one, which just becomes seven plus one squared. Plus, then we do Y minus K squared, so negative two minus K, which is negative two minus four, and then squared is equal to R squared. Seven plus one squared is eight squared. Negative two minus four is negative six, and then squared is equal to R squared. Eight squared is 64. Negative six squared is 36. Remember, negative numbers squared are still positive. And then we get that R squared is equal to 100. Now, since your equation requires it to already be an R squared, you don't need to square root this, okay? Because what you'll have to do is when you put it in the equation, you'll just have to square it again. If you are curious, the R is equal to 10, because that's the square root of 100, but we're just gonna focus on R squared. So we have X minus H, so X minus negative one, X plus one squared, plus Y minus four squared is equal to R squared, which is 100. We did a similar thing up there in number 10. Um, to determine that so you know it's a completely valid strategy all right then our last one here number 14 says select all points below that lie on the circle with the equation x plus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 16. so if we look here we see we have a bunch of points listed here now Remember that X, Y is a point on the circle. So we need to plug these X and Y values into the equation and see if they equal 16. So for instance, negative three, eight, our X is negative three, so we would put negative three plus five squared plus, and then Y minus six would be eight minus six squared is equal to, now, Negative three plus five is two, so that's two squared. Eight minus six is two, so that's also two squared. Two squared is four, so four plus four is eight, which does not equal 16. So we would not select the first point because it does not lie on the line. Let's look at the next one here. Negative five plus five squared plus six minus six squared. Negative five plus five gives us zero squared. Six minus six gives us zero squared. So that's just zero, which is clearly not 16. <coughs> Our next one, negative one six. So we have negative one plus five squared plus six minus six squared. Negative one plus five is four, so four squared. Six minus six is zero, so four squared plus zero squared is 16 plus zero, which does equal 16. So negative one six does lie on the point. So try those other four and see if you can determine which ones lie on the, the uh, circle or not. So pause the video and then come back after you finish with that. All right, so negative four, negative two, we would plug in negative four plus five squared plus negative two minus six squared. That gives us one squared plus negative eight squared, which is one plus 64, which clearly does not equal 16. Our next one, negative five plus five squared plus two minus six squared is equal Negative five plus five is zero. Two minus six is negative four. Zero squared is zero. Negative four squared is 16. That equals 16, so negative five, two would be on your uh, circle. Next up, negative nine, six. Negative nine plus five squared plus <clears throat> Uh, 
six minus six squared. Negative nine plus five is negative four. Six minus six is zero squared. Negative four squared is 16. So that one checks out because we add zero to it afterwards. And then our last one here, negative five, 10. Negative five plus five squared plus 10 minus six squared. We get zero squared plus four squared, which equals 16. All right, and that's gonna do it for this video. This was the continuation of that. So these are all the different types of problems that you may see. Um, things that determine, it may ask you to determine the radius, the center, plot the circle, um, write an equation, uh, find the diameter, find the, find the equation with just a point in the center, you know, things like that. So make sure that you work on the worksheet. We're going to do numbers 19 and 20 from the previous worksheet, as well as another worksheet that's been assigned for today. So thanks guys. If you need any help, please let me know. Um, and I will see you in the next video.